Hillary Clinton's pattern of deception. We've gone from uncertain projected $5.6 trillion surplus when George Bush became president to a $9 trillion debt. That is the uncertainty in this forecast. A deceptive Hillary Clinton plus the increased potential for deception with projection equals. We've gone from a projected $5.6 trillion surplus when George Bush became president. First, a look at the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants Guide for Prospective Financial Information. A projection is prospective financial information. Section 6.09 states, the potential to mislead a third-party reader of financial forecasts is greater than that for historical statement. Therefore, the $5.6 trillion projection equals an opportunity for Hillary Clinton to deceive. First, a review of other Hillary Clinton opportunities to deceive. I remember landing under sniper fire. There was no greeting ceremony, and we basically were told to run to our cars. Now that is what happened. Who knows if she misremembered, misspoke, exaggerated, whatever, it makes the case for Senator Obama that all this experience that she's been talking about is at least partly her imagination. A reminder that in politics, memory should always match the videotape. Cheryl Atkinson, CBS News, Washington. Lessons learned. One, a projection is an opportunity to deceive. Two, Hillary Clinton's experience is at least partly her imagination. And three, memory should match the videotape. We've gone from a projected $5.6 trillion surplus when George Bush became president. The $5.6 trillion budget surplus projection came from the Congressional Budget Office report published January of 2001. The $5.6 trillion budget surplus was projected subject to uncertainties. In view of those 11 pages of uncertainties, the outlook for the budget can best be described as a fan of probabilities around the point estimates presented in this report. And that was from the CBO in 2001. And this is the fan of probabilities included in the report. The following excerpts are from the Senate Budget Committee hearing on the budget and economic outlook, the $5.6 trillion budget surplus projection in January 31st, 2001. Included in the excerpt are Senate Budget Committee Chairman Kent Conrad, Democrat from North Dakota, and Deputy Director of the CBO, Mr. Barry B. Anderson, both on January 31st, 2001. Based on CBO's previous forecasting differences, the difference between what actually occurred and what was forecast. We could see in the year 2006 conceivably a deficit based on the differences we've seen in past forecasts from what actually occurred, or we could see in that year as much as a trillion dollar surplus. Is that correct? Both of those possibilities are possible, yes. I just want to urge people that is the uncertainty in this forecast. We could see in the year 2006 conceivably a deficit based on the differences we've seen in past forecasts from what actually occurred, or we could see in that year as much as a trillion dollar surplus. Is that correct? Both of those possibilities are possible, yes. I just want to urge people that is the uncertainty in this forecast. The AICPA states, as the uncertainty surrounding the forecast increases, the range ordinarily would widen. However, the responsible party should consider that if the range becomes too wide, the presentation may not be meaningful to the users. I just want to urge people, that is the uncertainty in this forecast. Does this wide range of uncertainty render the $5.6 trillion budget surplus projection meaningless? This question can be debated. But what we do know, the potential to mislead a third-party reader of financial forecasts is greater than that for historical statements. Lessons learned. One, a projection is an opportunity to deceive. Two, Hillary Clinton's experience is at least partly her imagination. And three, Memory should match the videotape. We've gone from a projected $5.6 trillion surplus when George Bush became president. That is the uncertainty in this forecast. 
Hillary Clinton's pattern of deception or imagination includes now the economy and foreign affairs.